Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. Ex-Lagos Commissioner Enoch Ajebosu drops dead at Oba's Palace. Hey, my people, hmm, something is unraveling. Oh, something is really happening. Our former commissioner has just dropped dead in the Oba's Palace. What could this mean? Well, there are inference. It could be that he had a health, underlining health condition and, um, you know, people might not show signs. Things like high blood pressure do not inform anybody, you know, of their presence and how far people have gone. It could really be anything. Again, it could be spiritual. So let's look at it from all angle. Anyway, it's making rounds right now. And just dropping on us that Enoch Adebosun, Adjobosun, you know, dropped dead. Why in the palace of the Oba? Is this a good omen? I don't think it is, as this will be spoken about for a long time. We all need to be careful, look after our health. But Lord, let's look at what really happened and what could have led to the death of the ex-commissioner. Former Lagos Commissioner for Agriculture, Enoch Ajebosun reportedly dropped dead while resolving disputes at the Oba's Palace in Oshun State. Ajebosun, who was also a former local government chairman of Agege local government area of Lagos State, was 70 years old when he died. He was setting, settling argument to probably the whole stress or fatigue, only God knows, or efficiation, we don't know exactly. Could he be out of breath? Could there be an underlying health condition? Could anything have happened? Could the whole anger or trying to resolve and the people, you know, adamant? Who knows exactly? However, whatever, he dropped dead. His son, Femi Ajebosun, confirmed the death of his father on Sunday after he slumped at the palace of the traditional ruler. <sighs> My dear, in Oshun State. He was told to be cancelling two parties of the dispute on the need to reconcile their differences when he dropped dead. The former commissioner was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead on arrival by medical personnel. Ajay Bosun did his National Youth Service call at the Staff Training Center 1977 to 1978. He was a management training staff at First Bank of Nigeria, PLC, in 1980. Senior assistant manager, staff training and development, 1990 to 1992. And deputy manpower planning manager, 1992 to 1997. He was elected chairman, Age Local Government, Lagos State between 1997 and 1998. He was re-elected in 1999 to 2002. Ajay was elected Chairman Association of Local Government of Nigeria Lagos State Branch 1999 and 2002 as well as elected National Tre Treasurer Lagon in 1999 to 2002. He was Commissioner Lagos State Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperative in 2007 during the administration of former Lagos Governor Babatunde Fashola. He could not complete his tenure as he was sacked for alleged anti-party activity. He was made to escape goat. He was made the scapegoat in the battle between Fashola and his godfather Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. Ajebosun attended St. Peter's Primary School. In 1956 to 1963, in Sa Government, in Sa Grammar School, 1967 to 1971, Kajia Memorial College, in 1972 to 1973, University of Ibadan, 1974 to 1977, and University of Lagos, Akoko, 1979 to 1980. So, like we said, this could be anything really and truly. Could he be the man had underlining health factor? Could he be, you know, not feeling well? 
Could there be something more? We don't know exactly, but what we are hearing now is that it dropped at the Oba Spalas, where he went to settle disputes. Truth be told, we all know, need to look after ourselves. He's 70 years old, and so there, there may be some underlying health you know, factor. We never can tell. This is all speculation. There may be more to it, you know. There may be more to it to be very candid. But in all in all, you know, when you are going to settle dispute, make sure that um, you yourself, you are okay, you know, before going about to talk to people, you know, about, uh, you know, getting their health and what have you together. See, <clears throat> when the man fell and slumped, I guess that was the end of the dispute. Do you concord? Do you agree with me? So when people are fighting at times, it's not everything. Probably if he was not there, I'm not saying it is wrong for him to go and, I mean, he was a peacemaker from all indication with that, you know, that gesture to go and settle dispute shows that he's someone who is a lover of peace and we want peace to be between people. However, when people are, you know, bent on having, you know, uh, on resolve issues, if it's not really your business to a large extent, send more competent hands or those who you know could actually bring solution to the matter don't go and put yourself in arms way when you fall and die life you see will continue so the most important thing is everybody needs to look after themselves everybody needs to be health wise okay don't go and implicate yourself in what is not totally completely your business as we speak now, his family, his son has confirmed the death. The family will go. They didn't say anybody killed him. Eh? His family will go on now and begin to plan burial. When Christmas is around the corner, when families are, you know, using this time to, you know, come together and, you know, felicitate, discuss, have a good time together. However, this man's family has been thrown into what will be described as mourning situation as a result of losing their father at this point in time so what kind of picture what kind of image do you think those children will have with regards to you know what has happened so it is important that we look after our children it is very important you know you need to look after your health we all need to do that look after our health you know we all need to do that it's a very sad occurrence. We send our condolences to the family and uh, we pray that God will give them the fortitude to bear the loss. You know, we pray that God will help them go through the season. You know, it's a very trying time to be very candid and um, it's sad. Leave us a comment.